Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, um, we've had a, a couple requests about our solar system, like showing our solar system from panels to plug-ins, basically, uh, and kind of like the price, how much it costs to get everything working, and how much it costs for this, that, the other. So I mean, we have no problem doing that, uh, sharing what we did and how much it costs to do it. I mean, we have no problem doing that. So today we're going to do a video, a short video on it, just kind of showing. Uh, from the panels, the wiring, uh, how it's hooked up in our charge controllers, the batteries, the inverters, uh, we only well, inverters. Uh, we're going to show all that and just kind of give a, a ballpark figure on how much it costs. Because, uh, we, like I said, we've been working on this thing for uh, uh, upwards of 10 years, you know, buying pieces here and there for 10 years. So I really can't remember and I don't, you know, I don't have the paperwork handy to show what we paid, but I kind of know what we paid for stuff. Anyway, the, uh, I guess one of the main questions we get is why we went with solar instead of having like, you know, the grid run up here. Uh, well, I mean, the grid is down on the bottom side of the mountain down there. We've showed it a few times on the video. The main line runs right up the holler, up, up into there. So, I mean, we could get grid power here, but uh, whenever we was looking for property, the biggest thing we wanted was off grid. We was wanting completely off grid. Uh, as far as you know, utilities and stuff like that. There's a there's a big misconception about what off grid really is. Uh, to us, off grid is not living in a tent, a stick hut, or something like that. We want to live as normal as possible, but we don't want to have power lines and cables around our house. We, we want to be as sufficient, as self sufficient as we can. Uh, we make our own power. We get our own water. Uh, we're going. This year, hopefully, we're gonna have our green air, our greenhouse area going. We're gonna be growing our own most of our own food. Uh, we have eggs, chickens, meat, you know, the whole nine. So we're gonna be as self-sufficient as possible, considering that we are a uh, kind of a homesteading prepper type channel off grid. Uh, so that is why we went solar and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll get started, and I'll I'll start with the panels. I'll show you the panels, the wiring the charge controllers, uh, the inverters, and then the, the sub panel over to the panel, you know, over to the house and how we power everything and what we use. Uh, anyway, if you haven't done so yet, before we get started guys, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, help us out a little bit if you wanna keep up what we're doing on the mountain here. Or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot us a message, uh, anything like that. Anything you need that I can help you with. I am not an electrician. I'm not a certified solar installer. I'm. And completely DIY every bit of this is and uh, none of it is sponsored we bought every bit of this with our own money like I said uh, that's why it took us over 10 years to do it so <clears throat> anyway guys uh, we'll get started and I'll, I'll start with the panels we ordered our solar panels the first 12 that I bought um, I actually got off of, uh, eBay um, I found them on eBay and made an offer on them for $35 a piece and I got 12 250 watt panels for $35 a piece. All right, which that's how I got to know Santan Solar. All right, Santan Solar is where all our panels come from. Uh, they're used panels. They take them out like uh, solar fields and stuff like that. When they're like decommissioned solar fields and when they're upgrading and up updating. So uh, we have a total right now hooked up solar panels. We have a total of 36 250 watt panels. <clears throat> I have one string up here. Uh, I'll show those in just a second, but those are hooked into uh, one series, uh, 12 panels in series. So it's uh, uh, it's basically just one big solar panel, basically is what it is. And uh, 12 panels, 250 watts. <clears throat> All right, and then I have uh, 12 and then 12, but those are hooked in uh, a series of four and a string of three to go into one one charge controller and then a, then another one into another charge controller. I'll, I'll show all that in just a minute also. These are the 12 that's in one one string series right here. Uh, if you watch the videos, you've seen how I hooked them up and how we put them up here and how we mount them. Okay, and uh, we use <clears throat> Unistrut to mount everything with. <clears throat> all right, here's the other eight. Hey, if you, like I said, if you watch the videos, you've seen where we put these up. These are four and four, and right there on the back porch is the other four to make 12. 
Okay, they're running a strings of four. Four and four, so that means we have three strings going into one charge controller. And these go into the Midnight Classic 150. These 12 go into the EG4 500 volt charge controller. And like I said, when I started buying them, I was giving $35 a piece for them. And then uh, I think they went up to maybe 60 or $70 now. So, so you can figure, I'll figure all this up later, but uh, I'm just gonna give like a rough estimate of how much stuff cost that we got. But anyway, there's the 12, there's the eight, there's the other four, that's 24 of them right there. All right guys, the, the 12 pound of this running series that goes to the EG4 is the wires right here. Goes down, and this is my con combiner box that I made. I have a Squire D box. Those are, it's a QO loads. This one I'm working right now. I've only got one string right to it. That's a string of 12 right into that. That's a uh, 30 amp breaker. Um, this right here, there's nothing on it yet. I'm gonna run another string there on the back side to catch some on some, but it's also, it's already wired. All I'm gonna do is hook it up into here. Okay, that's a 10 gauge wire. I know a lot of people are asking about wire size and stuff like that. That is 10 gauge wire, which is common, you know, PB wire, 10 gauge. It runs in the combiner box. All right, from the combiner box to the house, is eight gauge wire. That's eight gauge wire in this in here. Okay. Okay, right here is the uh, the eight panels we just installed on top of the roof here, which I still have not put the put the flexible conduit on here yet. I just haven't had time. I'm gonna put flexible conduit all the way down into here into the box. Okay, this is also a Squire D QO load center. All right, so I've got two strings, four panels four panels and I have room in here to come to, to add more when I need it um, that's also as you can see that's also number 10 wire from the panels I made my own connectors MC4 connectors hooked them up run my wire there's a number 10 wire into here okay and from here into the house into the combiner box or into the charge controller there's also eight gauge wire and it runs approximately 125 feet from here to inside the house where the charge controllers are. They run around, it goes around in that wire. We haven't buried it yet. Uh, that's one of my to-do things here pretty soon is to bury this wire, but I may put one more wire down just in case and one more conduit, uh, but it runs right through there. It goes under the house in the conduit and up into the floor in the conduit. And uh, I'll show you that in a second. All right guys, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a 12 on the front porch. Right there, three, 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 and three. That's 12 panel on the front porch. All right, right there is the ones on the back porch, the four on the back porch, which those will be coming off of the back porch because we're gonna be expanding the house and we're gonna tie the back porch down. So those will be going probably right there. So anyway, those are the ones on the front. Uh, to here on the back porch also this right here's a little bit different combiner box uh this is just something i had this is basically a an ac disconnect box but it, it works perfectly fine I, i'm gonna actually take these panels off the back porch and put them up there and they'll be on the square d uh, qo breakers too but for right now it works perfectly fine like this and yeah, we can show them off and on right here and those are the four panels on the back porch i showed you uh those are actually some wire that I had uh, left over from another run. It's actually number eight gauge from the panels to the combiner box, and then eight gauge from the combiner box to the charge controller. So it's all eight gauge on this one. So the wiring from the solar panel runs up and into these right here, which also have break the QO breakers on those two. So it's got breakers on both ends. Uh, this right here is the eight on the chicken house and the four on the back porch. And this right here is the 12 on the front porch. And this is the 12 on top of the chicken barn. The are in series. This one right here is. Okay. And we'll start with this one. This is the 12 in series. And it goes up into this EG4. The 500 volt, 100 amp charger. That's 48 volt. You, you can only buy these, I guess, in 48 volt, I guess. I don't know. Uh, that's all I could find them in. But anyway, uh, I wanted to try 
the higher voltage one time that way you know they ain't got to run three different strings and all this crap but uh i just want to try it one time and so far i mean it's got like three or four settings on it and it's just pretty much basic you know what i mean uh, you just set it and forget it type thing all right but i mean so far this thing here works pretty good uh the g4 i kind of like it i'll probably get another one maybe two of these just because of future expansion and stuff like that um okay now all right and the 12 off the front porch go into this uh combiner box here which is a qo load center also it has breakers here breakers on both ends just like all of them do okay and it runs from here to this grow lock um i've only got one string you can hook two strings in here on the bottom i'm only using one string on this one uh, it is the grow watt 12k uh, we'll talk more about it in just a minute but uh one string goes in here and uh, i can't really show you like how many bolts and amps and stuff like that because right now it's 98 bolts off those panels zero amps that's only because the batteries are completely charged they're 100 percent but anyway this thing right here as far as charging the batteries i'm honestly not that thrilled with it the way that it charges that's the reason i have that one and that one uh this one right here it does work but i don't i don't think they work like like they should like they don't they don't charge like they should um why i don't know uh, i've talked with the, the sellers and everybody like that and put this what there's recommended settings in it and that nothing's changed so just as far as charging on this thing i'm not real thrilled about but uh anyway this is the midnight classic uh the eight panels on the roof extension on chicken barn and the four panels on the back porch going to this it's got 12 panels running into it okay and it's i don't know if you said it, but it's on float charge right now because like i said everything's charged uh 131 volts going into it right now anyway this one here um that's probably the best mppt charge controller you can buy right there one of those things the midnight solar classics or just anything from midnight solar uh they're hard to beat uh this thing right here um this is my go-to this I, I hooked this up I, I had it unhooked for a while and you know we had to run the generator and everything i hooked it back up and we've been fine uh and this one right here like i said you can hook up to 500 volts into this thing and it'll charge 100 amps you can set it anywhere you want it i think i have it set at 60 amps uh because i've got this one this one charged up to 80 amps i've got it set at 60. um this one will charge up to 100 and i'll say 120 or something don't give give or take i've got it set at 60 also uh that's just the way i like setting them and anyway this thing right here price wise this thing right here was 2300 dollars for this um this thing right here was 700 give or take and this one right here was like 400 and something say 500 bucks for this thing okay all right guys this is the battery storage that we have these are live power fours these are actually 24 volt batteries but i've got them series together to make one 48 volt out of two so i've got six batteries in this cabinet and six batteries in this cabinet okay but they are series together so basically i've got three 48 volt batteries in each one uh which gives us uh 600 amp hours in each cabinet so it gives me 1200 amp hours of storage capacity uh, 5,120 watts watt hours storage per battery so that's i've got over 60 kilowatts of storage here and here if i if i mount it up a 5 10 15 30 yeah i've got over 60 kilowatts of storage in these two cabinets which uh maybe in the future i plan to ex expand them one more cabinet and six batteries maybe i'm not real sure because these things out here are pretty much perfect spot on what we need what how we live and stuff like that so anyway that's the battery storage and like i said i have them series together to make one 48 volt battery and there's three 48 volt batteries in each cabinet all right and these are also bought from signature solar um these things uh, whenever i first bought the first four there's 1500 a piece uh the second four i think that was 1400 a piece and the third four we bought i think that was 1200 a piece. so they are coming down a little at a time and uh i haven't so far knock on wood so far i have not had any problems whatsoever out of my batteries whatsoever 
so hopefully I won't because these things are very expensive so you can figure just even if you figure in between say 1300 for every battery that's uh, 1300 times 12 so anyway okay the pipe, the ground from the battery can battery cabinets come up into a shunt and that shunt I'll show you the reader in there in a minute but anyway it goes to the grow walk 12k okay this thing is 12,000 watts continuous um, I think it'll surge 36,000 watts for I really don't know the specs on all that stuff but um, like I said this is 12,000 watts uh, it was I want to say $2,300 for this thing it come from signature solar also um, there's nothing that we have here that this won't power and it, we've we've never used uh, as far as percentage of this thing We've never even used 40% of it, let alone, you know, the whole thing. So, um, the only thing we have that is not electric is the electric, I mean, the uh, range in there. So we use a gas range, which we will be changing to electric because this will be more than sufficient for that. <clears throat> and like I said, this thing, um, as far as uh, power and stuff like that, <clears throat> uh, this thing is a beast right here. I mean, it absolutely does everything that we've ever asked it to do. And it stays on 24-7. We've never shut it off. Uh, when when we bought it, we brought it, when it come in shipping, we brought it straight hung it on the wall and turned it on. It has not been turned off since. And right now, that was over a year ago when we replaced this one. All right. Okay, the power, it's a split phase, 120-240 that comes out of this. Okay, the power comes out and goes over into the load center. Well, this is like a sub panel kind of thing here. All right, over in here, and as you can see, I've got it marked as mains. Right there. These are two 30 amp breakers right here. I mean, really, that's all we need, that's all we use. I'll, I'll update those if I need to. Okay, and it runs from here to the main uh, uh, breaker panel of the house. So I can basically run, I can shut the panel up in the house and still run power into this if i want to run like a say like a freezer and a freezer refrigerator here just off this i can kill the power to the house and still have the power going to whatever i need it to off the solar okay okay and this is how we how we kind of keep up with what's going on with the solar system this is the energy uh, uh, monitor i um, mean it tells everything that we need to know we, we can actually set here in the house i mounted this in the wall to where we can actually be in the house and we can see uh, you know like in the living room in the kitchen and we can see exactly where our batteries are at <clears throat> so that's the purpose of this i put it here in the wall it's uh kind of in the kitchen here i got we've seen i put i i stuck this up right here just to set this camera on because i ain't gonna want to hang that camera from this monitor because when we're gone i want to see what the batteries are at this ain't permanent i just stuck this on here just to test it and just to work just kind of set the camera on it so i can see what's going on with it but that will be coming off when I was finished painting, I still got a little bit of uh, drywall work to do and painting and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, but I mean, it's, it's, it is in the kitchen right there. So we can set over in the living room and we can look over here and we can see exactly where our batteries are at. And this thing right here, I want to say this was like, I want, I want to say like 80 bucks. I'm not real sure. I'll have to Google that again, but I think it's like 80 bucks I get for this. All right, guys, that, that's just kind of <clears throat> going over our solar a little bit. Uh, we've had a couple people ask us about uh, what we have and how we use it and stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it. You got your panels, and then from the panels to plug-in, basically, is what we're going over. Um, everything in our house is electric. We run an electric mini split, electric water heaters. Uh, the only thing that we do not run, like I said, electric is the the range uh, but we will be replacing that it's a gas propane range now um, we will be replacing that with electric one because the power that we have is more than sufficient for that um, the wire uh, one thing I didn't go over is the wiring the 8 gauge wire that we used you know bought roughly we bought three rolls of that all together um, the 8 gauge wire it's uh, it comes in uh, uh, eight two wire you know it's got a black a white and then a bare copper wire in it and that's like 260 dollars a roll for a 100 foot roll okay or no it might be a 125 foot roll it is yeah because we used 125 feet three times okay uh, so it's 250 260 dollars per roll 
Okay, and we, it's probably gone up now, honestly. But uh, bought three rolls of that. Um, you know, we had a little bit left over on each roll, and that's how I kind of wired everything in there, you know, like, put, you know, from the control, from the breaker box over to the combiner box, I mean, combiner box over to the uh, charge controllers and stuff like that. So all that, where they come with the rolls. So, so you're probably looking at, just say, 800 bucks in wires, in wiring, just from the, from the panels to inside the house. Okay, and then we had to buy a conduit. Conduit is $10, $12 a stick. Okay, and then <clears throat> when we went the last time to get conduit, they didn't have any in the store. So I bought a 150 foot roll of direct burial gas line, natural gas line, um, like propane or natural gas, whatever. It's the big, it's one inch, got a one inch inside diameter in it. Um, and that's what I run the wires in from the, the new addition over to here. Uh, which is perfectly fine for us. I mean, as um, long as it's not out getting UV rays on it, which is going to be buried. I showed that where it's not buried yet. Uh, we will be burying that soon. That's on the to-do list. Um, okay, and from there in, you got your like your little square D boxes. They're, say, 30, 40 bucks a piece. And then your breakers are 8 or $10 a piece, the QO breakers. Uh, just make sure you get something that is uh, AC and DC rated if you're going to go that route. The QO load centers are DC rated, so you can use those, which will save you some money because if you order the midnight uh, solar combiner boxes and breakers and stuff like that, you, it's going to start adding up. It's going to be expensive. So uh, a cheaper way to do it is buy the QO uh, Square D boxes and breakers. All right, that's what I did. Uh, everything, er, all the breakers are and boxes are Square D. Um, so you can probably probably figure the total on that stuff uh i've got one two probably six eight of them there's there's two on each string so three six and then i have a couple extra i have to say like eight boxes so you can figure uh breakers and all three four hundred bucks maybe something like that total uh because it does add up after a while and uh uncle sam's got to have his finger about that deep in your orifice um Okay, and then, like I said, that thing's like 80 bucks, the Renogy, the meter. Um, they come with the wiring. I just basically hooked it up and run it in here and cut a hole inside of the wall here and mounted it in the wall, uh, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretty it up eventually whenever we get done painting and stuff like that in here. We're going to do some whole, we're working on the inside of the house trying to change, change everything in here. So, uh, I don't think there's nothing I ain't gone over as far as solar but when you buy the batteries they come with like a uh, four gauge wire they hook it from the battery over to the bus bars um i used a six gauge wire to get to make my series connection between batteries uh, those things were three dollars a foot yeah three dollars a foot and i had two four six that's 12 feet of that then i had to order a bunch of ends terminals um I went online and uh, on eBay and I ordered uh, uh, rolls of zero gauge wiring. It's red and black. And that's what, from the batteries to like the inverters and stuff like that, is zero gauge wiring. Uh, and that was, I uh, actually got it pretty cheap. It was like 80 bucks. And I want to say it's 25 feet of red, 25 feet of black. When you, and I ordered two sets of it. Um, yeah, I mean, you can find deals out here if you just shop around. But, uh, and, and the fittings, I also bought the zero gauge wire fittings uh, to fit the lugs, you know, everything like that. Uh, I bought those 10 at a time, and they were like 20 bucks, $2 a piece or something like that. And Lord, I bought, I think I still have like 50 or 60 of them put up just to have, just in case. So I probably got probably $250 just in fittings, you know what I mean? Just a little, if I didn't use that many by no means. But anyway. That, that's pretty much the solar system um, from, you know, from panels to basically plug-ins. Like I said, we use uh, mini splits, uh, electric hot water, water heaters. We use uh, air fryers, microwaves. We use everything that you would normally run in a normal house. TVs, internet, uh, it, it, all the same, all the same stuff. So anyway, if there's anything else you guys want to know about, if I didn't go over anything or something like that, as far as the total amount, I honestly can't give you that. Uh, just kind of have to add it up. Uh, I kind of went over what we paid for stuff. So, anyway, 
if there's anything else that you guys want to know or want to want to ask about feel free to you know just uh, shoot us a message or join in on one of our live chats and uh, ask i mean if i can help you i will this is all uh disclaimer here not i'm not sponsored by anybody we bought every bit of this with our own money all right guys like i said we got uh, just some uh, just some basic numbers for you i mean as far as what our solar system costs there's there's nothing here that's any different than what a normal house would have as far as power appliances and you know tvs internet uh, computers uh air fryer Air fryer. Pot, yep. Uh, toaster, toaster. Toaster ovens. Yep. We we use everything like everybody else normally would, and we we're not sparing on it. You know what I mean? We don't wait until you know, like, well, we can't use that right now because the battery's low. We don't do that. I mean, because well, I take that back. Before we added those last four batteries, we did kind of do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but since we put the last four batteries in it, well, we did it with like the mini split and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the little stuff. Yeah, we always just run. Just basically full blast on everything. Mm -hmm. So during, during the summertime, it's almost time to start firing up the mini split on the air conditioner. We do use it for the heat now. Um, we do, we have a wood heater, but we also use the mini split for the heat too. Like if we get up in the morning, the fire's out, we'll kick that mini split on. It'll heat the house up in just a few minutes. Um, or when we first get home. Yeah. So anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, uh, uh, please hit that like and subscribe. But yeah, if there's anything else you want to know about the solar, just feel free to send us a message or jump in on one of our live chats or whatever and uh, just ask us. We, we get on live chats all the time just to sit around and just kind of just shoot the fat with everybody, you know, shoot the fat. Uh, and kind of say hey and hang out with people. But anyway, uh, like I said, guys, if you ain't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, any questions, let us know. And uh, thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Good job. I'm watching Skype. I'm watching Skype. There you go. Good job.